I've made three sections to my garage gym. The free weights over here, got the random bars in the corner. Then we got the rack in the middle and a little cardio over here to the other side. So the overall fitness area with the mats here is eight feet wide and 23 feet long. So these benches here, I actually um, did not pay anything for them. Uh, the club I work at, they were in storage room. So I asked the GM back in the day, like seven years ago, if I could have them. And he said, of course, so that was awesome. So I've had these benches for seven years. I mean, they look great, super sturdy, happy with them. Can't complain about that. The free weights, most of them I've actually gotten from Academy. Um, not too expensive and I'm happy with them. Good overall quality. So let's take a look at the Pro Series Power Blocks here. A uh, gift I got, so that was obviously a very nice gift, but these are super expensive. I think these run at about seven to 750 for these. These are uh, goes from like, you know, five, 10 pounds all the way up to 90. Um, I've used them some and I have a review coming out of them pretty soon. Uh, there's a lot of pros and cons about these. Um, but overall, I find that I usually go over here and use these, but obviously if you don't have the room, these are great. Underneath here, we got their neck harness. I actually use this more than I thought. It's like 20 bucks on Amazon. Um, great little tool that definitely helped my neck and my neck pain. So I can recommend that. The, the weighted vest, love that. So let's take a look at the rack. This is a Magnum half rack. It's eight feet tall. Freaking sturdy. All four and seven gauge steel. And I actually did not pay for this either. This I traded out. I had a water row that I got uh, from a friend of mine. He didn't need it anymore. So uh, thank you for that. But I ended up trading that water row out with this one. And I got the TRX hanging there, which I use a lot. And as you guys can see, that is why you don't put stickers on your workout equipment, people. Uh, Coop from Garage Gym Reviews talks a lot about that and he is absolutely right. That looks horrible, I gotta get rid of that. Uh, that sticker held up better, but just not worth it. Also has a uh, landmine attachment over here on this side. And the, um, and the J-hooks on these thing is massive, absolutely massive. These spotter arms here, over three feet long. So this is a great piece of equipment. I use this a lot. And um, down the road, we will look to get a, uh, a bigger rack, maybe a six post rack, because you know only one can kind of work out here on a half rack at, at the same time. And when the family's out here, we like to have uh, people working out at the same time. So let me know if you have any Suggestions, I'm looking at the Rogue Monster saving up for that, or maybe the uh, Rep Fitness PR5000 version 2. Just not sure yet what to go for, but um, I'm not even uh, close to having uh, money for that right now. But anyways, let me know in the comments if you have any experience with those six posts rack, if they're any good or not. Uh, the bar over here in the back, the Synergy Bar, women's 15 kilo. 25 millimeter diameter on the um, handle with the bar itself. We actually all use this and we like it because it's not as wide and it's easy to maneuver around in your garage gym. So uh, that ran about $200. So um, I can definitely recommend that. All good. Moving over to the cardio section, which I use not enough. We got the Bob XL here. And that was about three to 350, something like that. Maybe 320. It's like 300 plus tax or something like that. Uh, great piece. And although I don't use it a lot, other people will use it. And next to this, we have the Air9 Pro from Swin. Schwinn. I'm not really sure how to say that, but this is freaking awesome. I mean, a couple of minutes on this and you're just done. Plus we all use it. Good thing about this uh, air bike here is it's got three different handles. I tend to like this one or the side. Wife is going with this one. Um, but we all use it. Kids will use it too, our oldest one especially. 
Um, this one was 950. Spend 950 on this, okay? And if you do get an airbag, I would definitely recommend getting this little uh, windshield on here. This is, they charge 50 bucks for this, ridiculous. But gotta have it. I don't like just having air just blown in my face while I'm working out. So the absolute best investment we've done here with our garage gym are these gym mats right here. So we've had them for about five years almost now. And uh, they look as good as new. We've been out here a lot lately. This is how our garage look about 11 months a year. Sometimes we'll roll up one of these and just put it over here next to Bob. And then we can have other stuff uh, here, but we'll still have these two rolls out here. So we got three rolls of 18 feet by six. So a square of 18 by 18. And this is awesome. I would definitely recommend this. These were about like a little over a grand, maybe uh, 1,020 bucks or something like that. Just picked them up on my truck, called them uh, or I uh, wrote them an email with a quote. They came back and then I went and picked it up and I'm glad I did. This is definitely something you want to spend some money on. Uh, this is uh, two, feet, uh, two inches wide, carpet bonded. Anyways, we have a review on these as well. If you are more interested in that, I'll drop that in the description, but uh, totally recommend this. I mean, the kids are out here all the time. Also, just send them out in the garage and play. Uh, we have four kids, so we definitely need um, some room. And so over here we have a folded up air track. This is a uh, happy buy air track. A nice piece for the kids. It's kind of between the, like this gymnastics floor and the trampoline. So when inflated, they can uh, jump all over it, do all sorts of tricks on it. So um, that's a cool piece. We're using that quite a bit too. We'll finish this video with some more clips of what we do in our garage. But if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. And please like and subscribe so we can keep putting out videos. Thanks a lot.